June. June, follow my physical cue. I'm sorry. Da, 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 da. Yay. We're making American sushi today. One of the things that Rachel and now I, Mrs. the Most from America, is actually American sushi. Yes. It's really interesting that, yes. I don't know, I really miss that too. It's a very different sushi experience to me. I think a lot of Japanese people would like it if they brought stuff like this here. I mean, it's already popular here. The like fast food of sushi here, I guess, would be like the conveyor belt sushi restaurants. Yeah, the they really have low end ones. a lot of different like new creative sushi now. Yeah, and they do a bunch of stuff like this. Like they'll have sushi with salmon and Avocado, cheese, cheese and basil sauce on it and like all kinds of stuff. Anyway, today Rachel misses American sushi and I'm gonna help her make it. Our rice cooker broke. <laughs> so we tried to fix it, but I couldn't get it back. So we're gonna just use this pot. I think fixing it requires like a soldering iron, which I don't have. And mm. I don't like <laughs> Anyway, I mean, we can cook rice with this. Old school rice. Yep. After filming this video, Nagi knocked the pot off the counter, and now we have no rice cookers at all. Make sure we make enough rice. I'm really hungry. I want like two whole American size rolls to myself. Okay. <laughs> two cups. And for a dessert later, we have another boksu to go through. Yay! This month's theme is sweet love. What kind of Japanese snacks fall under the category of sweet love? You'll have to wait until the end of the video to find out. Sweet love. All right. Gina has been putting kombu in everything recently. No, just soy sauce and rice for making sushi. That's how you make sushi. As, very, very umami. As a lot of umami, yeah. And it's best if you leave it for at least 30 minutes, but we decided to let it soak for a few hours. Kombu also has become wider and bigger. Some Japanese stove has this logo or icon for cooking rice. <laughs> I never even paid attention. By the way, this is where the lock is so that like our cats can't accidentally turn this on. And we've opened up this door so many times to lock and unlock it that it broke. This is why I don't like plastic pieces. I drink my rice vinegar. Of course, it goes well for the sushi rice. Mm. Sugar. Salt. Salt. Yes. Get in there. You do not normally put it here, but mm -hmm. I just put it here anyway. Well, kids are watching you de shell the shrimp. He's being remarkably patient for being 20 minutes to dinner. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> and that's why. Let's grab some of this for the shell. I'm gonna keep it in the fridge. I think I'll use it for pasta sauce tomorrow. It will make the sauce really flavorful. These joint parts, cut it slightly to make it longer too for the roll. As a rice. Ooh. For sushi rice, you want to add less water. I'm gonna feed the cats 10 minutes early because they were all just sitting <laughs> here eyeing our shrimp. Hi, Peachy. Oh no. Maggie. Maggie, oh my god. Okay. I'm making butter for the shrimp. Do you want to crack egg? <laughs> professional. No, now there's so much pressure. What if I do it really badly? I don't, I don't even remember. It's been such a long time. Since it's in your blood, woman. You can do it. <laughs> no, it's not. What, with one or two? Maybe like this? Which part do we want? Egg yolk. Never mind. You can use whole egg in the empty bowl, glass bowl. That stuff is definitely coming out. It's getting all over the counter. This bowl. This bowl? This, this bowl. bowl. Oh, no. I'm just gonna cry. I mean, you can. June, this is not working. No, my greatest fear. This is what I said was gonna happen. I forgot how to do it. It's been a while. Oh, God. There you go. June, that was painful. Beautiful. <laughs> Great job. Making an egg wash. Tempura batter. B-A-T-T-E-R? Oh right, batter. B yes, B-A-T-T-E-R. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Rebel June. June's putting olive oil in the tempura. Is it because we don't have enough canola oil? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Is it okay? Like it's totally okay. It's definitely uh, deep enough for shrimp to be cooked. I'm going to mix vinegar and rice together little by little. When you cook rice with this type of, I don't know, pot, the bottom, uh, it kind of burns a little. It's mm. called okoge, and that's why a lot of us like, especially mm. when you like eat it with like a tea, mm. like ochazuke, like this. Oh, 
Oh, it is very super crunchy. Yeah. And very tasty. Ooh. I like it. For a sushi, I'm going to use the top part only. Mm. Maybe we don't need to get rice cooker. Are you sure? I was kidding. I do. <laughs> do not go like this. It'll make everything too sticky mm. and texture will be really bad. It looks like you're just like massaging the rice. I like that. Massage the rice. <laughs> I'm going to deep fry some panko for the topping. Okay. You can see a gradation. Isn't that kind of cool? Mm. How are you going to slice the avocado to fit inside the sushi roll? I was going to ask you that. How like, was the avocado like in the sushi? I have eating? no memory of avocado being inside the sushi. No memory? No. I thought you want avocado in the sushi. Well, that's what it says on their menu. <laughs> oh. That's just a take though. It's just our dinner. Shrimp time, shrimp time. Shrimp. The pot is not big enough for the shrimp, so it's a little curly. But when we put in the roll, we will just flatten it. It looks amazing. Oh my god, it's so delicious. Is it done enough? Yeah. Uh, spicy mayo. Don't we have uh, spicy mayonnaise already? An expired 2019. Uh. So it means <laughs> probably we got it last last time it was in America. Uh. Maybe three or four years ago we got it. This is also expired, but it's expired more recently and it's open. So let's use this first. What's next? Let's roll. With our two year expired seaweed. Only thing that are not expired is maybe <laughs> avocado and shrimp and rice for American sushi roll um, inside out. The rice goes outside. Uh, you cover the sheet with rice, like entire sheet. Mm -hmm. What if it doesn't stick to the nori? That is not rice that, that's <laughs> cooked. If you cook rice with water, it should stick. Okay. And flip. Yeah. And thanks to summer wrap, it should not stick too much to the... Nice. Yep. Shrimp. Avocado. Go June, go. <gasps> nice. And Indonesian crab. I also have yeah. smoked salmon too. So my wife has been spending the entire day just to make me some American sushi. Thank you so much. I work so hard. It already looks definitely not as nice as restaurant. <laughs> really? I think sushi. you did a great job. I don't think so. It looks better. It's okay. <gasps> yes. I like this. It looks our flag color. <laughs> kind of what? loosely. I think it looks nice and it looks very tasty. It's like 7.5 out of 10. I think we messed up maybe in a lot of spots, but I'm very excited to eat this. June prepared three more in slightly different ways. These are intention crab roll. Mm. These are smoked Atlantic salmon roll. This is not inside out American style, but... Japanese style. Ehomaki style. Mmm. Ehomaki bits. Yeah. It looks amazing. June is plating his so fancy. I don't know. I'm just take it <laughs> Look at this plate, June. The plate? Yeah, it's nice. Thanks. Enough? Yeah. This is not... As thick as it should be, I think, because it's expired somehow. Uh. <laughs> it's really liquidy. Everything is expired. June, that could play a role into why it doesn't taste quite, quite right. If we die by tomorrow, we'll let you know. Dun dun dun, it's the moment of truth. Better. Mm. How? You don't believe it is. More avocado? I can okay. taste more. Shrimp and avocado. Last time, the rice vinegar and the mayonnaise were the two strongest flavors for me. Because now I taste the inside ingredients more. You have a very sensitive, amazing palate. <laughs> you can literally be a judge. I don't think so. I think that's enough for you to handle. <laughs> I don't think that's fair to put on anyone else. Just you, because you married me. You have to deal with it. Uh, okay. <laughs> 
I got a 7.5 out of 10. Um, no, I'd say now it's a 8.5. It's much better. Anything above 8 is pretty okay. Anything above 8 is something I am happy to eat. Okay. For dessert today, we have Haku! Very sleepy. For dessert, we have today's sponsorship, Boksu. Well, everyone's coming. Boksu is a monthly snack box subscription service. They know it's filled with snacks. <laughs> and it is filled with a selection of Japanese snacks. Every month has a different theme. The very first month, you'll get the box that we did in the last video, which was the Four Seasons, I think. And then from there on after, there's like a, an actual different monthly theme box. This time we got Sweet Love. I guess for February, for like Valentine's Day. Whoa. Lots of hard stuff. Yep. June. June, now we have, we have to like share it all lovey-dovey and stuff. I'm really excited to go through this. We're really happy to do another box with them because the last one was really amazing. Uh, if you didn't see it, they give you a booklet with every box that explains all of the snacks they picked out. It gives you information on all of the snacks and it has a map of Japan showing you where they're from. Some of these snacks are made directly with like local snack makers. So in the last box, there was stuff in here that June and I had never even seen before, mm. but they all tasted really, really amazing. Yeah. So what do you want to try today, June? This is so cute. Spicy mini heart senbei. Crafted oh, it's heart shaped senbei? Exclusively for boksu. Oh. Mm, I know Genji Pai, these are really mm. good, but mm. I want to try something I haven't tried. That one looks amazing. Okay. Look at that, June. Oh. You can have the bigger piece. June, it looks so good. Nice. Dagimos. I don't know the word for this. I need you to eat it and tell okay. me. <laughs> okay. How do I explain this texture? Oh, wow. How do you explain? <laughs> it's very difficult. Oh my god, this is so good. It's soft but has a crunchy texture somehow, crunchy, anyway. Crunchy texture. The crunch the bits, I guess? Oh my gosh! It's Hakata Amao. Is this from Fukuoka? That's what I thought. June! <laughs> is this a we have to find it! Where is it? I want to try a mochi. Inside the soft mochi is a layer of marshmallow! Okay, let's kanpai our mochis. Mochi's. <laughs> Why didn't I think about this combination, mm. marshmallow and mochi? Oh my gosh. Marshmallow just isn't like a huge thing here in Japan in the first place. Yeah, it's not. But I this, think, mm. it's really good. Mm. That mochi is so smooth. Once again, we are going to enjoy slowly eating the rest of this over the next month. Liar. We <laughs> finished it in like three days. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Boksu, for sending us another box. If any of you guys would like to try Boksu, you can get 10% off your own authentic Japanese snack box by using our code and link in the description box below. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you later. Bye. I'm so happy. American sushi and Japanese snacks. <laughs> it looks good. Whoa. I want to bite of the chocolate one. Huh? I want to bite. Mm. Yeah. Oh my Sorry. god. That is way... We're gonna finish in three days again. That is way sweeter than I thought. It's like, it's a brownie! That's an actual brownie! You better save it. Don't, don't open it yet. It's a brownie, June. I don't get brownies in Japan. All right, we'll, this will be gone in a few days. Okay, here we go. Thank you. Bye.